On 12 September 2019, ENA will be launching a shadow report on racist crime, institutional racism in the criminal justice system. This is a report that we have been working on for about a year, and it's an update for a report that we published in 2014. Essentially, what we are doing is documenting racist crime across Europe, but also looking at the responses with the police, the prosecution, and the criminal justice system. We look at the prosecution and how they are ensuring that the, these crimes are properly prosecuted. And we look at the courts to see whether justice is meted out correctly. In the report, we have quite a few case studies where we highlight how the police, the prosecution, and the overall justice, criminal justice system has responded to racially motivated crimes. And what we see in many of the cases is that victims of racially motivated crimes are unprotected, they do not receive the right kind of response from the police, and their cases that they're reporting are not properly investigated. Reports of racially motivated crimes are not easy to deal with. It's not always clear who are the perpetrators and why they have committed a specific crime. But it's really down to the police to make sure that they record these crimes correctly and that they do what they need to do to investigate these crimes thoroughly. We know with Stephen Lawrence, who died over 20 years ago, that it was a racially motivated murder and the police did not take the statements of the witnesses um, seriously and the whole investigation was completely skewed. And this case for me, the Stephen Lawrence case, is incredibly significant as someone who comes from South East London and was a young girl at the time of the case. And through our research, through our researchers working nationally, we see time and time again of people of colour, minorities, migrants, reporting crimes to the police and it's not being taken seriously. The witness statements have not been taken seriously. And then the investigations are failing. So these are some of the elements of institutional racism that we document in the report. And we see that there is some progress in terms of the legislation and guidance and training, but there is not enough uh, progress in terms of the institutions themselves. And this is why we talk primarily about institutional racism, because it's the institution, it's the policies and procedures within the institution that are failing victims of racially motivated crime. In fact, there's so much more in the report that you can make the connections to and see inside the report and you'll get a chance to look at all the findings in detail and hopefully this will launch a discussion about how we can improve the responses to racially motivated crime across Europe.